Hi guys, Sergey from Nina Volo Custom Jewelry here, and today's topic is salt and paper diamonds. A while ago, our client was looking for a black diamond engagement ring, and I asked if he's considering the salt and paper diamond, and he asked me back, are they even real diamonds? What are these spots and lines inside and outside? Is it a good buy, and if so, how to choose one? In this video, I'm going to answer all of this important questions and many more. Let's start from the very beginning. We all know about white diamonds or it would be right to say colorless diamond and uh, some of us heard about the main characteristic of the diamonds uh, 4C which uh, represent carrot, clarity, color and cut. Uh, that they are best girl's friends and that you should spend like two, three months salaries on them. First, the most common question, are salt and paper diamonds even real? Yes, they are real diamonds. Uh, actually, less than 3% of the diamonds are white or would be correct to say colorless. And most of the mined diamonds have some sort of imperfection or inclusions, actually most of them industrial diamonds. Salt and paper diamonds are the one who have perfect mixture of uh, black and white inclusions that remind us of a mix of salt and paper. Uh, it's about 10% of the overall amount of diamonds. Uh, they are real in every way. GIA would prove that it's a real diamond. Any jeweler would classify them as real diamonds as well. A uh, diamond tester would test it as a real diamond and they are durable in a similar way to the colorless diamond. They stand 10 on a mock scale. Like I mentioned previously, diamonds classified with a 4C where one of them is the clarity. In salt and paper diamonds, inclusions are uh, much more visible than in colorless diamond, which uh, makes the look of it absolutely unique in comparison to the traditional diamond. And it makes them unique among themselves as well. There is no identical salt and paper diamonds. What are those inclusions? Uh, most diamonds formed one to three billion years ago and brought to the surface of the earth through the volcanic eruptions. Inclusions reflect basically the time, the temperature, and the pressure, overall history of creation of the diamond. It's actually very valuable. The inclusions are very valuable for gemologists who study the history of the Earth. And there is actually a very cool uh, lecture on GIA YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. It's, it's pretty incredible what they're able to study through these inclusions. Black inclusions are usually sulfites and white inclusions are usually the diamonds in the diamonds or other minerals. Red inclusions are garnet and these are pretty rare and pretty desirable. Uh, green inclusions, olivine or diopsite, I honestly never seen this one in real and I would like to buy it for my personal collection. There are very little fake salt and paper diamonds out there, but there's a few things you need to know. Uh, some sellers are trying to pass uh, cubic zirconia or moissanite uh, colorless diamonds as a real diamonds, especially the ones that are smaller than half a carat. And uh, with the salt and paper diamonds, it's uh, pretty hard to do. Uh, the process would be similar to the lab diamonds, HP, HT process or CVT, and then you would have to take care of the inclusions. So overall cost of production would exceed the cost of the real salt and paper diamonds, so it just doesn't make sense. But some sellers on the marketplace might try to sell uh, rutilated quartz, for example, as a salt and paper diamond and they are much more affordable. Uh, you can suspect quartz uh, just by looking at it. It's uh, much more foggier than the diamond. Also, the lines of inclusions would be longer and actually wider and bigger. And usually they price like too good to be true. 
The safest way, of course, is to buy your salt and paper diamonds from the trustable source, uh, similarly as with uh, colorless diamonds, from the stores who've really taken care of their reputations and review. There are other types of uh, diamonds with inclusions out there that has aesthetic value for us. There, th these types of diamonds are absolutely unique and differ from one another and usually falls into three most common categories. Uh, first of all, there is icy diamonds that are full of white inclusions, usually diamonds in the diamonds or other minerals. Uh, they look like a piece of ice basically or like a milk added to the water. There are autumn diamonds or rustic diamonds, another name. These diamonds look like uh, autumn leaves and they be different in colors from yellow to brown and have uh, lots of black inclusions as well as the white one. And of course, there is a salt and paper diamonds, the most popular out of them. Why we believe it's a great choice? Well, first of all, the depth and shine. Uh, white diamonds and salt and paper diamonds have different moods overall. Uh, white diamonds sparks and reflect the light towards your eyes, uh, bringing all the attention to the surface of the stone or the light it reflect. And salt and paper diamonds reflect way less light towards you and they invite you more into the complex world of the stone itself. Uh, think of it as a introvert and extrovert characters, basically. The other thing, they are untreated and raw. Uh, lots of traditional diamonds, uh, uh, colorless diamonds, are heat treated to remove inclusions and imperfections. And salt and paper diamonds on the other side are known for this inclusions and imperfections and therefore do not require any treatment. All we do after mining them is to cut them in the best suitable shape to actually highlight this imperfection. Another important thing that they are earth friendly. Uh, we love salted paper diamonds not because of their purity or clearness or colorlessness, but because of their story. To get salt and paper diamond, uh, you need to process significantly less soil. Uh, uh, salt and paper diamonds take far less time and resources to mine them. Therefore, we don't have to throw away so many other diamonds. There are no identical salt and paper diamonds out there. There is absolutely no way to find identical stones. Uh, there is always different amounts of inclusion. In some uh, stones, you're gonna have more black inclusions. In some stones, you're gonna have more white inclusions. And there is always significant difference. They are unique as who's by them. Each diamond reflects the time it was formed, the story of the Earth. It's sort of a time uh, map of the Earth. That's, that's why we actually buy them. How to choose your salt and paper diamond and what to look for. It's a very fun process of choosing your perfect imperfection, basically. We are all different and prefer different things. And some people would be looking into galaxy stones and uh, some would enjoy fairy tales of the snowy beauty of the stone and wants to have an, a melted piece of ice on their finger. I, I would search for the galaxy personally. Salt and paper diamonds are too unique to try to classify them with them with a 4C or any other form. Um, you just have to look through them until you find the, the best one. One thing though you have to be aware of and keep in mind is when you choosing the salt and paper diamonds, while uh, some inclusions uh, make your diamonds look great, uh, the other would make it unstable and not durable enough. I wouldn't try to figure out this yourself, uh, just Talk with a jeweler from the place you buy in and they will explain you everything. Um, let's talk about a very important question that you might have. First of all, the price. Are the salt and paper diamonds cheap? That's a very common question. Um, I wouldn't say they cheap, they are diamonds overall, but they're much more affordable. They like uh, four times more affordable than colorless diamonds. 
Of course, it would also depends on where you're actually buying the stone. For example, online it would be 30-40% cheaper. At the, same, at the same time, if you're buying them somewhere in New York and Manhattan, they would be more expensive. Then let's say even in Los Angeles, they are uh, significantly cheaper here in, in LA, for example. Um, overall, uh, check my article. I'll link it below and I have a chart with the prices out there that can help you to choose the perfect place. Another very common question, should you buy one? Is it a good investment? Uh, salt and paper diamonds are unique and affordable. They are naturally stand out without hurting the environment. They are truly show the uniqueness of your character and that you look beyond standard options. If you always wanted a perfect colorless diamond in uh, your engagement ring, then you should go for it. If you were always fascinated by the sky and galaxies and want one of those galaxies on your fingers, then salt and paper uh, diamonds are a very good option for you. Are they a good investment? Honestly, I wouldn't try to combine two of the things together. There is flawless, colorless investment diamonds that no one really uses in jewelry. They are easy to sell and easy to buy, and they are known as an investment stones. So there are clearly two different purposes of two different stones, and I honestly wouldn't mix it. So where do you start with a salt and paper diamond engagement ring? So where do I start with a salt and paper diamond engagement ring? Here at Nino Volvo, we specialized in custom engagement rings. All of them are unique and have very different stories of creation. It's uh, very important for us to establish the connection with the client so we can uh, match your expectations perfectly. We always start with a consultation trying to figure out, trying to determine what is that you exactly are you looking for. Usually it's not very clear from the beginning. If you want salt and paper diamond, we would start searching for a perfect stone and doing the sketches of the setting at the same time. Uh, this type of stones usually uh, dictate overall design of the setting. So it's uh, better to figure out what is that you're looking for before we start uh, doing the design. I mean the overall the shape of the diamond. And as I mentioned before, it's, uh, really it's the best way to find your perfect stone is to look through like 10 or 20 of them and see why, which one is click on you. And you can leave the rest of the technical details for us. I hope this video answered most of your questions about the salt and paper diamonds. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you still have uh, the questions of this type of diamonds or any others or the settings, uh, just leave your question in the comments or shoot me an email. I would love to include this uh, question to the next video. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching.